Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Lake Life Family Channel. Last episode, we did kind of like a Q&A husband and wife trivia challenge and you guys really liked it. So I think from now on, what we're gonna try to do is at least one of those a week and then just a regular vlog. But we also need your help. If you guys have any questions or wanna send something in on topics that you guys want us to discuss, um, go ahead and put those in the description below and we would love to answer more questions. We just feel like after a while those topics will kind of, we won't have a ton of things to talk about. Hey, Emmy girl! It is the morning here at the tree house and Justin is already scavenging around looking at trees and he's gotten into this new art of chopping down dead limbs and stuff and sprucing up the trees. And in the meantime, little Emmy girl, I have, um, I think I've taught her to say mama. Don't tell dad yet, shh. Because we're, we're, we're trying to nail this down, but she's got that mum part. Don't think she knows what she's saying, but it's still really adorable. Can you say mama? Mum. 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 You just like the furry thing? You want to touch the furry thing? Oh, yes. You like the party thing. <laughs> well, she's a little camera shy right now, but I swear she's been doing it all morning and it's the cutest thing. She goes, mm, mum, 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 mum. <laughs> I'm going to count that as saying mom. So one for mom, zero for dad. So also what you guys said that you guys would kind of like to see is more cooking on the, on the channel. I don't really like to do a whole lot of like cooking channel bake-offs or anything like that just because I'm really kind of a boring person so for me to talk about that while I'm cooking you probably don't want to see it but what we will start doing is showcasing more of the food around here and what we eat a lot of like my homemade recipes and where you can find that so today we have these delicious scones this is what I made earlier I see that LFG has already gotten into one of those this is kind of the leftovers of my lemon scones that I made earlier this week oh gosh those smell amazing and those are actually on my summer ebook. So a lot of you guys also asked the question, why doesn't Stephanie have a cookbook? Why doesn't Stephanie have a recipe book? I actually have two. I have a summer cookbook and I have a holiday cookbook. And actually the summer cookbook comes in an ebook form and it also comes in a hard copy form. So I'm gonna put the link down in the description. It's always down in the description, even like from videos long, long, long time ago. I did this recipe book last summer and I still love a lot of the recipes that come out of it. Get yourself one, get your mom one, it's uh, Mother's Day is coming up, get your girlfriend one, get your wife one, get everybody one. Isn't that right, Emmy girl? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We look absolutely ridiculous right now. You guys are probably thinking, wow, y'all are such Texans for thinking it's so cold. It's in the 30s right now. So I'm trying to keep this one warm. I've got my big coat on. Let's check in with LFG. Oh, hey, scared me. <laughs> I am going down and into the woods, through the ocean of vines, and then back again. Yeah, I mean, this is a jungle. I have gone uh, into an obsession. There's really two things that, uh, over the course of the last couple of years, I've realized about myself. And uh, number one is, I love sharpening knives. Like that's kind of an obsession that OSG knows. Mm -hmm. um, kitchen knives, uh, my personal knives, hunting, fishing knives, even machetes. But also trees, that's a new one. Um, arboring is what it is called. There's a science to it. And the health of the trees is important. I am a steward of the outdoors. That is what I do. Um, I like to treat hunting and fishing as, you know, a resource and a valuable one and trees the same way at the tree house. All these little tiny trees, all these little branches, everyone is a uh, is like a separate entity, a little story in itself. And you have to figure out which way is the tree trying to grow, the main vein going up into the tree, and then what other branches are uh, prohibiting future growth of other trees. Now I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed. I wish you can, can tell you. The first thing I did this morning, I woke up and got my coffee. I came out you here. didn't realize that you were gonna get a tree lesson in this vlog, but you got one. <laughs> uh, I started with the backyard at first, which was already clear and pretty nice. And I was like, ah, there's one, there's one. And now I'm like, <laughs> look, this is the jungle. Like you can't even walk through it. So all these small trees right here, 
they're prohibiting the growth of uh, other trees. And then we have these vines. These vines are like really restricting. They grow up around the tree and then it brings all the branches down. So as a general rule of thumb, green thumb, what you want to do is clear out any branches that are facing downward, growing downward or into the tree. So when you cut those lower limbs, growth goes up into the tree. That's my lesson. After a couple cups of coffee, a little machete whirling. Hope you guys enjoyed that. So, uh, about that guest room. Yeah, okay, so I knew you were gonna come out here at some point <laughs> and redirect me into the guest room area. It's starting to drizzle, so this might be a good time. I just, I chop one and then I just, I get into it. Okay, so we had to come back inside because it was getting a little bit chilly and it was starting to sprinkle, so we have begun the work on the wall. It already smells like wood down here. Smell the goodness. The cedar goodness. Oh, we got, was that two things? Yeah, I'm starting in the middle on this one. I think it's the move, honestly. That looks pretty. All right, I'm good. Lunch break? <laughs> or that OSG kitchen when you need it? <laughs> I keep telling him that I really want to make some uh, biscuits and gravy with some deer sausage. Do it already. I think I might do that. Is that bad to have that for lunch? No. It is not bad to have biscuits and gravy at any time. <laughs> at any time of the day, any time of your life. I mean, I haven't had anything to eat today. I've had one of your, half scones. one of your scones. A scone is not going to build the wall. All right. To build the wall, you need biscuits and deer sausage gravy. Mmm. Got some biscuits and some gravy. So this is my first time making biscuits and gravy with deer sausage, you guys. Gravy is actually kind of really temperamental that you kind of want to get it hot, but not too hot. And it's a constant stir. You can't let it burn on the bottom, but this is getting a nice thickness to it. I like a gravy that's nice and thick. I know a lot of other people like it nice and thin. I think we are getting somewhere. This is almost done and I know Justin's a little hangry right now. So we're gonna feed him some lunch so that he can finish this wall. But look how good that looks. So it's nice and thick. You see how thick that is? He's been out in the cold and he's working on this wood project for me. So I think we can go ahead and make some biscuit and gravy for him. Uh, there's some biscuits and gravy right there. Already? Yeah. Okay, well, enough this. I'm gonna see these biscuits and gravy. Are they steamy? The gravy is steamy. Steamy, hot, and fresh. Oh, the smell. The waft. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I can smell the goodness. The deer goodness. Yes, ma'am. No, I don't that's think... Bread. The next time I would do whole wheat, that was the recipe that I went off of. This is not my biscuit recipe. So we're gonna give it a try this is the first time. I, I say OSG, oh, let your biscuits fly on the next one. I would do regular flour on these, yes. but we'll we'll try them. I'll try them. Got my biscuit. I put it in half. I think you know I what? would also make them bigger. Look at that. Look at that. This is one of the reasons I enjoy hunting. Is this part right here. From scratch. From scratch. This will fuel you for the day. Let's, let's get taste. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh man, the gravy. My gosh, the gravy. Ooh, all right. We got the gravy. A plus on the gravy. Put cayenne pepper in it? I actually put a little rosemary What's, what's in that there? little red in there? Or that was from the sausage. Well, oh, that's from the sausage. Yeah. Okay, that's good. It gives it a little kick. You can taste the deer. You can taste mm -hmm. the venison in there. The gravy's beautiful. There we go. There's some happy dance. That's the country boy woodsman dance. Oh man, <laughs> that is awesome. I need a big biscuit cutter. Like th that's the biggest biscuits I can get. Fish and freaks or lake lifers. <laughs> OSG needs a bigger biscuit cutter. If you know of one, if you uh, if you make them, let us know in the comments because oh, yeah. uh, we want some big biscuits with this awesome gravy. Mm -hmm. mm. I'll get a lot more done if you cook me 
this. Does that mean like more home projects? Yeah, more home pro. I will get them done if you can fuel me like this. Okay, deal. Deal. There you go. There you go. It's there like a you little, go. It's a little brunch treat. Get yourself. Get yourself. I need a little fork. And then we could just put some bacon and eggs with that. And imagine mm. if we had a citrus tree. We just have a small peach tree. Peach juice with it. Mm. Come on now. Mm. That'll stick to your bones. Mm -hmm. Okay, gravy is really Gravy's good. Gravy's the bomb. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Is that an OSG excitement? She goes, oh. 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 I like this. Mmm. Tasty. Okay, I'm going to get me another bowl and then I'm going to finish that wall super fast. So while Justin is finishing up the wall, I am starting on some Woodsman Wild Game Chili. It's one of our favorites, especially when the weather is cold and dreary like this. It just warms your soul. So we've started the base. We've got the bacon in there. We've got the chopped onions, garlic. We've got the ground deer meat. Ladies and gentlemen, I have built the wall. Uh, the only thing is this door doesn't really shut. Well, guess I better fix that now. Hardest cuts were down here at the bottom. Had to get the track saw out for those, but I did a pretty snug little job. Man, y'all, I wish I had all these tools that I have now when I did the big wall in the beginning. Honey, I have built the wall. Yeah, baby. You making some chili? I'm gonna take that as yes. Ooh, these flavors have been simmering for a few hours now. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? I heard a mum. You say that again? Mum. Let's go tell daddy the chili is ready. Man, two deer meat dishes in the same day. Thank you, OSG. Just had some delicious deer chili. I think she wants me to do more projects. I think that's how it's going. <laughs> you betcha. So we got the room almost finished. Um, gonna do a little creative cleat hanging. Uh, OSG's idea. You know, last video we said we were gonna get each other some gifts. So I got you something. Did you get me something? I did get you something. Did you? But you don't really get did to you? unwrap it. Really? Yeah. Well, you don't get to unwrap yours because I didn't wrap it. I oh, really okay. don't. The problem is I placed it somewhere and I don't know where it is now. Wow, Justin is looking for that. Let me go ahead and show, well, I guess I can't really show you guys the yeah, room. Why don't you let me know what I got? I got you. What? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> a piece of paper. A piece of paper, okay. Yeah, Justin is actually really hard to give a gift for because he's super picky on anything like tools, knives, I can't get you anything because you're just, you're picky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Well. And because we appreciate all the hard work that you do. The Woodhouse Day Spa. Oh. Thanks, honey. <laughs> yes, the wood, the wood house. It is called that sounds the like my house. place. And I think Man. maybe you can get like some CBD oil and you can get like a hand really? massage. Really? Well, I've been hearing all about the CBD oils from uh, all, all of you guys and uh, over on my channel as well. Thank you so much. That is an amazing gift. You're welcome. I gotta find yours. Um, Where did you find it? Uh, oh, here it is. Found it. <laughs> so you mean I, I could have opened that the entire time? Yeah, you could have. <laughs> it's not wrapped, so uh, there it is. I got you a nice knife. Oh my gosh. Japanese cutlery. So you get me knives. Yeah, Wait. so uh, you have one of those I already. Do. That one in particular is good, really good for fruit. I really liked the handle. Mm. Give it just, don't cut your fingers off because that that's a shoon for anyone that's curious. So it's kind of like an in-between your chef knife size and your other small little knife that's similar oh, to that shape, but it's real crappy. Sexy. Yeah. Uh, I use my other shoe knife pretty much every day, multiple yeah. times a day, every day. Uh, and that company actually sharpens your knives for you if they ever get dull for free forever. So. Thank you, baby. Boom. I love it. You okay. know me so well. 
Oops. Big moment, big moment right here. We're pretty much finishing off this room. Got the cleats up here, looks really cool. OSG, Thank awesome. Thank you. I don't know where you saw that, probably a Pinterest thing or whatever. Actually, I will claim that all of my own. Really? Yes. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. You take this, you wrap this around here, just like you're at the dock. Uh, and that string needs to be longer. That one. Let's wow. see. All right, we're gonna need some more twine, but you guys get the idea. It goes in there like that, and then uh, you got your little dock knot. So, <laughs> look at this, it looks awesome. This looks awesome, that looks awesome. The wall looks fantastic. Biscuits and gravy power. Now I know the chili and cornbread and the biscuits and gravy. If you just want anything done, you just, ah. Oh. It was a nasty day outside, and instead uh, of just sitting around, mm -hmm. playing video games or watching TV, get creative. Yeah. Remember your ABCs. Always be creating. And we did. We built a wall today. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you want to stay tuned for our next vlog, is not. It's going to be one of the uh, basically when Amy goes to bed. Yes. We haven't. We don't have an official name. We're going to be doing some uh, some unboxings of some other stuff that you guys sent to the PO box. And we thank you guys for being here. God bless you. We'll see you right back here at the Treehouse on the next one later.